Hello, 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 my beautiful Capricorns. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this reading, I hope everyone is staying, staying safe. I love you guys. Spirit guys, uh, led you in my spirit to do a reading, Capricorn, an individual reading for you. Let's see what spirit has for you. I don't know what this is, but it's like spirit is like I'm taking random signs and spirit has a message. So spirit guys, I ask you to give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I need your protection. So, let's see what spirit has to tell you. Let's see what spirit has for you, okay? Let's see what's in the energy, Capricorn. Hello, new viewers, cross watchers. Okay, so you got the king of swords in the reverse here. You could be dealing with someone that's very mean to you. This person doesn't respect you. Um, you could be... Um, you could have literally moved out of the house, uh, living up under the same roof with this person, or you are in separation of this person. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. All three of these cards came out in the reverse, okay? You were dealing with someone, you could have been dealing with the narcissist Capricorn. Uh, I feel like you're no longer happy. You, I feel like you no longer, y'all know, you know, this is not, this is not the path that you're supposed to be on. You have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, okay? Spirit guys, tell me more for Capricorn. What else for Capricorn? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you got the Hermit and you got the Lover's card, okay? This person, you could have been married to this person or this person... This is, yeah, this is someone that could be a lover that you were dealing with, married, lovers, situation, something um, that I feel like if you was married to this person, it's all, it was all about at one point in time, the tradition that people say, oh, you know, death do your part, you're not supposed to get a divorce, you're not supposed to da, 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 but I feel as though that you're tired, it's not working. You're tired of how this person is treating you, okay? Spirit guys, another card for Capricorn. King of Cups, yeah, in the reverse. So, yeah, this person definitely has nothing to offer you. Not only that, Capricorn, this person is very, very disrespectful. This person has a, you know, very disrespectful and you're tired of it. It's like you done put up with it maybe 11 years. You done put up with this for a long time. Spirit guys, tell me more for Capricorn. You have put up with this. Yeah, you're ready to move on. You done put up, put up with this for too long, longer than what you should have. And you're ready to move on. You're ready to, you know, you're ready for maybe this divorce to be. Yeah, you're trying to manifest something else. I feel like you're working hard. Okay, uh, this is someone you shared a lot of history with. You could have been with this person since y'all was at younger age, you know, out of high school, out of college. Uh, yeah, King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to, you focus on your money, your bag. You're trying to manifest maybe somewhere to stay. You're trying, you're trying to, you, it's almost like you're trying to, you're trying to, um, um, uh, rack up your bag, you know, save money, and you're getting ready to, uh, you focus on stability, you focus on having things, you're trying to manifest, you know, some stability, maybe another house, or maybe to move somewhere else, yeah, I feel like you've been isolated in, in this, in this uh, energy, maybe you're in the house with this person, but y'all do not share the same bedrooms, or anything like that, you feel isolated, you don't have no voice, it's like this person's really, really controlling, and um, it's time to leave what Spirit Guys is saying, if you have not already left, yeah, you're tired of the fighting, you're tired of the drama, you're just tired, yeah, you're tired, you're tired, see, the Queen of Swords, you're tired of the BS, you're tired of this, you're tired of the fighting, the arguing, it's like, this is not, this is not, yeah, the emperor in the reverse. This person is out of control. Okay, this person is not in control. This person takes out a lot on you, whoever you are. Okay, you're tired of it. It's like there's no respect under that under that roof. 
under that roof. You sowed a lot of seeds with this person. Could have been seven years. Hold on, let me get this. Okay, could have been seven years. Yeah, you're trying to go towards your success. You're trying to build a success. I think you're trying to uh, work on yourself. You got the justice card here. I feel like this person is going to get their justice. I feel like you was up under up under this in this marriage or living with this person. And they really was very controlling, really disrespectful. You put it up. You put up with it for a long time. Long time, yeah. Two of swords here. Your heart is blocked. You don't, you don't, you're in the same house, but it's like there is absolutely no sex, no nothing. All y'all do is pay bills and that's it. It's, it. And it's like you're tired of that. Yeah. Um, you got the Knight of Wands here. You're tired of being a fool. You're tired. This Knight of Wands, this person is uh, in and out, hot, cold player energy, you know. You tired of that roller coaster? I feel like an up and down roller coaster you went with, went through with this individual person. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're really in your head a lot. Whoa, you're really in your head a lot because you and this person uh, a whole. It's a lot of history bet between you two. It's a lot of history that y'all shared. Okay. And it really is really disappointing to you. Very disappointing. But I feel like you said, I just want to be single. I want to be out on my own. And some of you are already single. Everybody's on different timelines. Uh, maybe a lot of you, um, this has already happened. Some of you, you're going through this now. Some of you, this is coming in your near future. But you're single. You're tired of the anxiety. Yeah, your defense is up. Okay. I feel like you had, you. You went through a lot of anxiety, a lot of roller coaster, a lot of a lot of fear. I also feel as though that you had to walk on eggshells in the house. It's like your voice was not heard. You you know, this person just wanted to silence you and you was not happy. Okay? You were not happy, you were vulnerable, you didn't have the confidence, okay? There was definitely no communication in that house. No communication. You got the four ones twice here in the reverse. So that lets me know that some of you are going through a divorce case or separate, you know, you separated. Uh, some of you, you know, moved out, okay? You know, moved out. Yeah, a lot of pain here. You went with this, went through a lot of pain with this person 10 years, if not more. This person, breadcrumbs, this person treated you less than, okay? They didn't care how they treated you. That's why I say you must have been, you, you had to have been dealing with a narcissist. This person, you know, changed and... You know, it wasn't the person that you married. It's like maybe after four years, this person, four or five years, this person started changing on you and, you know, and um, reversed the roles on you, made it feel like you was the problem, made it feel like it was because of you something happened or because of you the bills are behind, because of you the kids didn't make the school loan time, because of you dinner was, was late, because of you you didn't iron his shirt, because of you you didn't put set his shoes out, because of you you didn't pick, everything was because of you. Everything was because of you, Capricorn. Reverse the roles, everybody. Everybody reverse the roles, okay? Yeah, I feel like now a lot of you, like I said, this could be past tense. A lot of you are single. You're happy. You're so glad you're not in that household with this person anymore. You're just taking time for yourself. You're being patient on yourself. You're just being patient with yourself because you went through a lot in this marriage. You went through a lot with this person. You went through a lot with this connection if you wasn't married, okay? And um, I feel like, you know, you just want to be happy in your own space. You, you don't even want no relationship right now. You're not even looking for anybody. You really not. You're really not looking for anybody, yeah. You and your queen of wands energy. You're not looking for anybody. You said, I'll just, I'm taking a break. Yeah, you stagnant. You said, I'll take a break uh, before I, before I meet, uh, talk to anyone else. Because that was a heavy burden. The ten of wands in the reverse. That was a very heavy burden that you dealt with uh, this person for a lot of years. Okay. And, um. I feel like what Spirit Guys is saying to you, Capricorn, is that 
continue to love on yourself continue to be patient with yourself capricorn continue to just make yourself happy be your best friend take your time take the time out to heal fully before you go into another relationship and if some of y'all are haven't got to that point yet spirit god said um you know it's time for you to remove yourself because it's only going to get worse um and um i know some of you probably saying it's easy said and done but i have to wait till you can still you can still leave, leave someone and, and be filing separation papers as well but the main thing that I, what i feel like spirit wants you to know is to focus on yourself focus on your happiness focus on your your whole perspective your mindset your mind body and your soul and don't go chasing nobody uh you're not a chaser you attract you and your queen of wands energy spirit guys god is saying sit on your throne and love on yourself for now and when god or whoever your higher source sees fit that you're ready for someone he's going to send you the right person uh, for you don't go out there and try to do it yourself because you're going to mess up and you're going to mess around and make a mess of it so let spirit guys god handle whoever your next relationship is until then if it's five years from now six years from now three years from now whenever it is that god sees that you're ready until then just focus on your work like you're doing build your you, you know build your foundation work on yourself love on yourself enjoy the time to yourself enjoy your peace your joy your dignity your sanity spirit guys just want you to appreciate your peace and where you're at in your head space if some of you haven't got there this is where spirit wants you to be at okay i love you guys i came with a short reading but this is what spirit guys want you to know is to love on you because that's where you're going to be the most successful at. And when you are successful at loving on you, when you're successful at loving on you, then you will be able to attract the same type of energy that you are, the same, the person will find you. Until then, just, just love on you. I'm Positive Thoughts of Energy. Until next time.